Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. And I greet all uh, uh, participants online. Uh, and uh, I gave the title uh, as uh, spirituality as a source of meaning and uh, significance. Uh, it is, uh, in that sense, uh, I already in the opening uh, summarized the three uh, different challenges. Today, I'm not going to focus on those challenges, but in the face of challenges, what we should do is uh, uh, focus on how we, do we uh, repair or uh, restore the meaning and uh, balance of life that uh, sometimes we just face in uh, different life situations. Uh, it is uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, most important uh, meaning of the spirituality and the spiritual uh, is uh, construed from a, a wrong perspective. It is some, something like the contrary uh, or in contrast to um, material. And when it comes to human uh, life, it is contrasted with bodily life. It is in that sense, uh, uh, it is uh, always uh, we cherish life uh, as a, you know, the person. Uh, when somebody is born into a family, uh, we have all the you know the joy and uh, every moment that the new uh, life brings into the life of the families and as they grow you know uh, we say in Turkish for instance you see more of the happiness uh, in in his uh, future life so in that sense spirituality is not uh, just spiritual but it is also meaningful rational and understandable important and valuable. I'm not just making this up, but I just searched through the uh, dictionaries of different languages and it comes up uh, these meanings too. But we always focus uh, in, uh, there is a, a, like a, a TV show called Go Ghostbusters, you know. Somebody are just hunting ghosts. It is a spirit is not just a ghost, you know, just moving in the air. It is uh, the founding uh, human personality. It is a uh, side of human existence <laughs> that is uh, functions through body. This is what uh, uh, Avicenna calls uh, the um, essential mixture. Uh, of our personality, uh, just as unique uh, at the creation, uh, one soul is so mixed with its own body that it differentiates any single person from others. In the old uh, tradition of philosophy, as you know, um, matter is the individualization, individualization principle. But here, it is the mixture that makes everybody unique. And when we lose somebody in our life, either by separation or by the eventual death, we miss that mixture that nobody can fill in. Otherwise, all human beings are born and die and generations, you know, in, into another generation goes, but we live by their memories, their work, the things that they left after. In that sense, opposite of uh, meaning, uh, the opposite of spiritual is the sense of, um, yeah, or in the sense of meaningful, is meaningless. It even irrational and unintelligible. Quite the contrary, it is not the body, it is unintelligible, irrational. 
the state of being meaningless, meaningless in the sense of not having meaning, inappropriateness, uh, one uh, writer says, God forbid that there should be any meaningless in this situation. Spiritual and spirituality uh, does not always uh, refer to the spirit, as I said, as some ambiguous something in the air, but in the real sense, uh, soul uh, or ghost. It doesn't refer always to this. Not all, but also meaningful Russian we mentioned. Also, it's not the opposite of material and natural. In the real sense, natural means it's spiritual. Natural because it is, is yes, it is our nature. Uh, this uh, spirit and body united in a person and it is our own nature, that mixture, that is unique in every sense. And uh, the, the, this value-making uh, sense of spiritual, uh, for instance, uh, uh, as, as spiritual uh, values make us, you know, uh, suffering impossible. And we, it gives us power, superiority, creativity, uh, the French joy de vivre, perhaps the misrepresentation of uh, spirituality uh, and excessive spiritualism has sought and uh, you know find power, superiority, or you know a kind of dominating nature in that sense understood, and we reduce uh, the ordinary people bodily life to nothing. And we, we should, uh, uh, you know, uh, stop this creating, this dichotomy. Instead, spirit acts through body. And what we should do is, again, I have to uh, quote Avicenna. He says, human beings are bound only with two forces. One is the force of divine law, law, the other is law or reason. Unless they are uh, bind, bind with uh, any of these, all the vices comes out. So uh, some people may not accept uh, the divine law, but at least they should accept the law or reason. So reason here in the sense of the most important function of spirit. In that sense, in the opening I mentioned Plato's, in Timaeus, he places the spirit at the top of the head in the sense of reason. Despite the fact that the Plato is always like presented as something, you know, someone as idealist that spirit is, you know, all high somewhere. It's interesting, so that's, uh, I see that. So in that sense, uh, spiritual mean action, behavior, expression, that is intended to, I mean, uh, meaning, implication, concept, when it comes to the uh, meaning expressed in uh, language. Because as human beings, this is the uh, you know, the old definition of human being is zone uh, logicon. Uh, the speaking lively being, in other words. Here, logicon means ability to speak. So we, our intentions, desires, are expressed in a language. And in, uh, I just uh, discovered that uh, he has such a uh, deep insight. Uh, as you know, uh, since Aristotle, this is the question. Whether we in, uh, acquire meanings from language use, or we acquire meaning by rational faculty and the faculty of perception, 
and then uh, put those perceptions, the concepts, into a living language. And one uh, Muslim philosopher from uh, uh, Algeria wrote a book on culture. He says that we put our perception into the words, and through that, we enter into time. Time of the community, time of the society. And this sounds me interesting, because uh, I'm not going to mention, maybe when it comes as a paper, I will mention uh, somebody wrote, uh, you know, on Aristotle's uh, an interpretation, uh, a passage on the, uh, you know, acquisition of language and discusses this uh, and author here. Uh, I have some notes, but I'm not going to get into detail. In that sense, it means through language use, we uh, get contact with society and bring into their time. This is my uh, here suggestion is we have to we have to bring uh, we have to bring uh, our spirituality what we understand from the spirituality to the, today's time, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh, language takes uh, the uh, structure of certain times and uh, what is the change and sometimes the challenges some challenges are not uh, say real actually it is only conceptual we have to extend the our conceptual framework to compass the I mean expand to include these new meanings and sometimes to drop out uh, and some of the uh, dead words. In that sense, uh, it is, there are contagious words. When it's spread, you see, this is more, uh, how do you say, dormant, dormant words become contagious. And especially when we are talking about this war and everything as the real, uh, uh, like the whole uh, discriminations and, you know, the cultural clash. <laughs> and these are brought out from dormant words. When they are mm -hmm. expanded, it becomes contagious. Uh, racism and, you know, the other forms of uh, discriminatory uh, words become a real uh, headache for for us. In that sense, uh, we should bring the close relation between uh, the meaning of the spirit and the spiritual, how the meaning is uh, constructed through language and the true use, because I take Aristotle's uh, categorias, the lost sense of Agora is where people are meet. Agora is the public. So he uh, he limited the sense of language to the public life. Categories comes from uh, you know kata is an uh, adjective or or the uh, article there. You see, it's a combined word. So agora, agora, the public use of the word uh, give a different scene incrementally. And we should focus on this. So uh, make uh, this spiritual uh, uh, efforts that uh, support and to 
uh, in in the probably you will uh, listen uh, at, uh, in the likeness of uh, putting Legos uh, in a different shape, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, building meaning, and uh, this is how I conceive the uh, spiritual. Uh, meaning and uh, as a source of meaning and uh, significance.